Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am shooting a simple, easy look for the holidays. You can do this for Halloween. If you guys want to see how I got this dear look, please keep watching. I already have my base complete, so my foundation is on, I have my eyebrows on. I'm going to jump right into the eyes. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I know this palette has a lot of negative reviews. I just got this palette in yesterday, so I tried to look this morning. I wore it to work. I liked it. Um, it does have a lot of fallout. I think the colors are amazing the colors are super pretty and I like the look that I created this morning and so I'm gonna use it again for this dear look in my opinion you just have to be really patient with blending out the product always tap off the excess eyeshadow from your brush and you should be good without further ado let's get started so I'm going in with the color cube under my brow bone I'm going to take new wave this color right here I'm gonna take that on my eyelids I have like semi hooded eyelids so I like to take my eyeshadow just above my eyelid the actual line so that I have like a higher crease okay so now I'm gonna take a more densely packed blending brush and I'm gonna take this color fudge this color here and I'm gonna pack this into my crease I'm gonna clean that brush off on my hand so that I can go in with fudge and take that under my eye. Next, I'm gonna take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color white and go ahead and widen up my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with some wing liner. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the same lashes I wore today. I'm just gonna reuse them. I forgot to extend our eyeliner on the inner corner, so let's go ahead and bring that down the tear duct just a little. So I'm gonna be using my Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm to bronze up the face. Now we're gonna bronze heavier than we usually would. It's gonna be in the same areas that you would um, contour. You want to take it a little higher, bring it straight down, and curve the end a little. I'm going to take a little bronzer on my nose. I'm also going to take this up my forehead. I have a huge forehead, so I can take advantage of this here. To emphasize the contour on my nose, I'm going to take my MAC paint pot and I'm going to run this down the center of my nose. Now I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm going to just take a beauty blender. Now I'm going to go back into my subculture palette. I'm going to take this color Rowdy. It's not complete black, but I like that it's a little bit purple. I'm going to take that on my nose. All right, I'm going to take that same dense brush and run a line. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to run a line above my cupid's bow. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil. This time I'm just gonna go in with little circle dots randomly. This doesn't have to be perfect, by the way. Okay. 
The good thing about this is if you make a mistake like this spot got a little too big than I wanted it to, you can just wipe it away with your finger and redo it. Okay, now for my lips, I'm going to use Kat Von D's liquid lipstick. It's the black shade. I'm just going to do my upper lip. I'm just going to take this Revlon um, lip gloss in Supernatural and I'm going to put this on my lower lip. I just thought that a glossy bottom lip would be really cute opposed to like a full black lip. And now I'm going to go in with this Butterfly Beach ColourPop highlighter and I'm going to take this on my nose. I'm going to take this on the arch of my nose and I'm also going to put this on the center of my nose. I can't find my highlighting brush. This will do. I'm going to take my favorite highlighter. It's the Mary Lou Manizer. Did I say that right? The Mary Lou Manizer from the bomb. It's quite dirty and I actually dropped it. I'm so sad. It's like done. But yeah, I'm still trying to like get every last bit of it. So we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna pop this on where I usually would highlight. Again, I'm gonna go on top of my nose, just a little bit. And the look is complete. Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and hit that alarm button for future videos because I plan to do about two or three more looks for the upcoming holidays and Halloween.